Anyway, I'd better start recording now. Better start recording now. Ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> So, the house abandoned. It's pretty empty. Or Soul says, yeah. We have a walk to do that, but uh, it's the quickest way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll start recording this when we get there, do you reckon? Or... Yeah. You've got like 40 minutes of it, so. Yeah, on that one, maybe, yeah. I know. They just like. And like, oh, we're, out, we're off the beaten track now, so I just let my dog get everywhere. Wait a minute, wrong way, sorry. So it goes up that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't remember this being there. Ow. God, this looks a bit more mank. Yeah, straight up. That way. Yeah. Ooh. Of course, it's There's no way up there in a cut across, is it? I don't believe so, yeah, no. He's going to take ages, man. Do you want me to go first, get them all down? You're wearing your uh, rip, rip stuff, so that, yeah, because it's like it's gonna get you in it. I could have put on my uh, orange camos and uh, be done with it. Ow! Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if it's gonna be too much, mate. Yeah, it's nothing that way. <laughs> Does it get better? Well, I reckon so. I reckon so. I think it's just a bit. Because. Um, Man. You know, it's going to be a bit of a rip in oh, it. I've got just shorts on, see? Yeah. Shorts on. Whoa. There's only so much germaline yeah, in my uh, first aid kit. Ow. Right, that's not too bad. We're out, Ooh, yep. We're out now. So. God damn it. Hang on a minute, guys. Fucking knackered. Oh, carry on, but I'll just catch you up. Have a breather a minute. Thorns, gorse, all these bushes, nettles. Yeah. 
just come from there, look. It's come from down there. Top of the mission, up the hill. Sweat's dripping onto my glasses, off my head. Bloody sun's coming out, isn't it? Typical. Jesus. Fell right on my f belly to let the camera go. Ah! Thorns are fucking oh! For fuck's sake, you can't push them out the way. They go straight through your bloody gloves. Ow! Oh. For fuck's sake! Nasty thorns, man. Nasty, nasty. Oh, crying out loud. I'm like bit bit mentalist. I don't know, I've been moaning a bit, but I'd rather do this at night. It's cold. It's like sweat central. I mean, it's not that bad, but, you know, it's not, not 100% comfortable, I know that. I want to sit down up here for about five minutes, I think. Just recoup. Tell you what, I'll sit down inside. Ow! Had to get me one... Oh, it's all right. Had to get me one last bloody time on the way out. Typical. Always just one last bloody nettle or thorn. That says like, see ya, enjoy your stay, come again. Fucking bullshit. Get rid of all the bits now stuck to my socks and all that. Bits in my socks. No doubt bits that'll drop down, thorns that'll have me in a minute. Big thorns that'll stick in my boots. Anyway, enough whining. Oh, where are we going in? So yeah, just around the corner here, folks. After that crazy journey up the bank there, <laughs> Citadel battery, it's like a um, Victorian uh, gun battery. I think it was built late uh, 1900s. I think it was built around there. There is magazines, underground magazines to these, but they're very difficult to get in. I suppose we might be alright to get into one a bit later after we've done this other place, but um, yeah. Take me to the bunker. The bunker. Bunker. The bunker. Yeah. Gun emplacement. Yeah. Used in the Second World War for the old uh, big naval guns, probably. They must have been up quite raised up quite high to be able to clear that then. Yeah. Enough bolts. I think this channel has something to do with some sort of cooling for the gun. I've heard somewhere before. Liquid cooling. Yeah. The place in Portsmouth, one of the uh, forts there had a uh, gun battery like this and they had the same uh, cutout. So that's the view, which I can't see because I'm holding the camera up. Get those the old drone up folks. Yeah. My head's pumping now, I'm baking. It's like standing still is... Boom, boom, boom. Straight up there, um, I think that's um, Fire Command post yeah. up there, something like that. Yeah. Um, bunkers. Ooh, yeah. It's 
quite a, when it's wet, it's a horrible one. It's a bit like the Bristol aircraft battery at uh, Purdown. Right. They used to call it Purdown Percy battery bunker. But uh, it's a lot of surface stuff with a few little, you know, dug down magazines and things like that. Yeah. But uh, everything else right up on the top. But as I said, unusually, uh, it was um, pretty much not manned for the firing, just manned for the reloading. Yeah. It was electric control from somewhere else. Yeah, the cover was put over in the Second World War. Right. And another one. Yeah. The three gun positions have been in. There we go. Another one. That's still got the metal crane bikes still in it. Yeah. In the Second World War, possibly. So they would just... a shell hoist mechanism that's been capped off. Right. You can see there. So the guns would have been up high, and the, that would have been a framework around the edge, so you could walk around the edge of the gun, is it? I'm sure underneath it was for protection, so they could work and load the gun underneath the right the framing, and the gun poked out the top of it, possibly. Yes. I think that's how it might have worked. Yeah. Ah, this is the citadel, is it? On the back of the citadel? Yeah, exactly. So Western Outworks Defence Componia is buried under this. A massive like, sort of part of a fort. The tunnels and stuff like that. Oh, we go this way. OK. Mention that word. You said a, something underneath it, a carbonier? Caponier. Caponier. Yeah, that's a French that? word, something like that. What does it mean? Outer. Man uh, who... Defences. Oh, right. Sort of like, yeah, caponier. It sticks out and it's like firing position. Mm -hmm. But that's all buried. They filled it in in the 1960s with landfill. They were going to do it with all the moats around here. Right. But they managed. someone managed to stop it, luckily. Um, and, yeah, all that's still buried. No-one's been in them tunnels since, like, the um, 60s. Excellent. Oh, mad. Sounds like a challenge, folks. Sounds like a dig, folks. Yeah. Anyone who's mad enough, once they've, once they've got in there, contact IKS on the email address. Don't leave it in the comments. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Public comments, folks. Yeah. Right, so I know you're going to hate me for this, but we're going to have to go through these trees over here. Oh, bloody hell. You know, not trees. First it was grass, <laughs> then it was yeah. then it was mud, now it's trees. Trees. Good old English countryside. Pounds. Yeah. Kentish town for Kentish people. We don't like your sort, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's not too bad. No, they're very, very welcoming. Saw some mad people uh, fighting in a bus stop last night. Yeah, and some bloke running, walking up the street going, rrr, 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 like, as if, were you looking at me? Or something. I was just like, well, well I didn't see anybody else around, but... What is his own? Yeah. Bloody hell. Welcome to Dover. Welcome to Dover. So, yeah. Camera up there, folks. Yeah. The monitors as well, I think it does move. Right. Yeah. It's razor wire and everything is here for the prison. Yeah. This became a prison. And uh, they're not really happy about you coming in here, I think, don't think. But... That's a prison fence. Wow, wow, wow. Can't get your fingers in there. No, but you could put like a bit of me bent metal strapped to your shoe and it'd be really good like, climbing up there. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. You're like Spider-Man. You're like oh, yeah, straight up there. Oh, hey! Oh, hey, hey, hey! 
Oh, you're bad. See what I mean? Thank you. Right. Thank you. He's knocked my f***ing camera off as well. Last second, you have to get a nettle. Just at the last oh, moment. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's knocked my bloody camera off now. Right, rant over. And back to the exploration. Here with Ian from IKS Exploration and Matthew from the Secret Vault. We're complete professionals. Oh! Yeah, watch him. This. Oh, bloody hell. How I'm really... Ow! See what I mean? I'm enjoying this! I'm... I am happy! I'm happy! Two thousand years later. So, this is try two. I'm now walking back up the same hill, but not with any nettles. Oh, God. Um... I think I've just basically abused my legs so much over the last couple of days that the injury from Plymouth, can't even feel it now. It's like, it's lost somewhere in the ache, aches. So, we get back up these steps, walk all the way back up the top, and then pretty much, we'll be back in where we were, in no time at all. A few inches later. Would you Adam and Eve it? We're back, uh, we're back at the hole. And then rip all back in, rip my, rip my legs. So, this time we're going to get in. We've got the batteries. We've got the LucasAid. LucasAid sponsored by. Yeah, sponsored by. Buy as much as you can from the link below, folks. Yeah. Oh. Trouble is. I would drink Lucas Aid, but has got our spate, our spate team in it. Our spare team is one of the bad boys. I don't drink that poison. So, even though it used to be a good energy drink, it used to have glucose and sugar. Now it's got glucose and poison aspartame, so I don't bother with it. Oh. I'd rather have uh, Red Bull because it's got sugar still in it, or, you know. I don't bother with a sucralose, yes, stevia, yes, had a push, some of the others, but not aspartame. Eight minutes. Tidy. Let's go. One hour's 32 record time, 100% battery. Back of a prison. Did you know the backpack is unzipped your zip on the bottom section, Matt? Nothing gonna fall out? Yeah, no, I've only got a power pack in this bag. Which is the main zip, yeah. Okay. Cooking with gas. So this would have been the original way up to the defence coupon here. From here onto the top of it anyway. Tidy. This goes into the magazine. Dan, if you want to go first. Okay, thank you. So, now the floor begins with fresh batteries. It's amazing I can forget stuff like that, but we're, we're doing so much today that uh, it seems to be things can be easily forgotten, so I'll try not to do that again because it's just a waste of time to walk back to the car to get them, so. Massive powder room, powder storage. Yeah. 
Wouldn't have floorboards. Yeah. And that was some sort of serving hatch to serve the powder through that, possibly. It's got a load of butter sinks in there. Mm-hmm. Well, the, what are they called? Uh, Wellington sinks. Yeah. Sinks. yeah. You can see the remnants of the sinks on the floor. All dated as well, 1940-something. Yeah, bits like that, you know. Bits of a sink. And even more recognisable, bit of a sink. It's got a bit of uh, the back of it there. No days. Yeah. All smashed up though. Yeah. Cool. Uh, information on the back there. Westwood SS 1945. 1945. <laughs> Mad. Westwood. Is a bunker in Westwood. We, we dug this out, all my video yeah. here. All that was smashed. It's like, oh damn. That would have been worth a bit of money, that. Oh, complete one. Westwood. That's a bunker where they were testing chemical warfare stuff near Bradford and Avon. Oh, right. Westwood. Cobweb, a cobweb clean uh, clearer. Yeah. Oh, it's thorns on that bastard. Okay. So these are the gun casemates. Behind there is uh, the gun position. You'll be able to see it in the other one. I think I must have done something like this all in the second world war, fix it up. Not the original fireplace in there still. Still in this place. Cool. Watch that wire. Okay, now. So we've got uh, another similar sort of setup there. This one. So all the floorboards in place down there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I had the camera not set correctly then, but yes, you wouldn't like to fall down that, as it's saying. Yeah, hair will drop. Whoops. That's a beast. That looks like an archway or something there, is it? Yeah. I was if, is that what you saw from the from the car? I know it was very close to the road. Right. So you know, like from that first row of houses to the road, that sort of distance. But right over there near the roundabouts, where you go down into the ferry terminal, right. you can go you can down right to the ferry terminal, or you can go down left and carry on towards town. And against that chalk wall on your left hand side. Right by there, very, you know, tall archways, like going right up and over and down that steep. That might have been the oil mills. Oh, right. Yeah. You can see the mounds there, look, if you look over there. Yep. Where the guns would have fired from. Yes. So, you know, it made a, a dip in it, so where the guns could fire. Mm-hmm. And the mud's been put up against the parts that not, um, to protect it a bit, I suppose. So we'll be going down there. What's that? What um, say? They breathe a zoo there. That what's that pepper pot thing? They're the old. Um, that's where the railway tunnel runs. Ah. Under there. What the new? Over the Folkestone. Ah, right. Not the Euro Tunnel or anything. No, no, no. That. It's, uh, it's, uh, Folkestone there. Right. Let's uh, head in. 
one wonders what's down in these, but yeah. get into the tunnel section so something just fucking flicked straight under these my glasses into my fucking eye. Oh, no mate. I think it's gonna help don't you but no I don't know I started to get under it. Yeah. Oh well, hence why we're wearing gloves and glasses, or safety glasses. Fuck, helmets ain't a waste, you know, they're a waste of time, but bloody glasses are quite good. Saved my eyes a few times from bloody thorns. But that one just then. That's not a big water tank. Water tank? Yeah, not cast iron or something like that. Hmm. And uh, El Bad Boy. Bad boy, is it? What's that? This. This one. We're going down into the belly of the beast. Oh. So let's see the game there. Look at the bottom of the hinge. How worn is? Yeah, you could just tap that through with a hammer, couldn't you? And yeah. Yeah. Well, you can you can see straight away. It's like huge rooms down here. Yeah. Watch the floor with steps. Yeah. And uh, you could fall into these nasty little hooks here as well. But yeah, this is spacious, isn't it? It's massive. It's all abandoned. You know, it's crazy. It just uh, they didn't spare the expenses with this one. It looks like it's nicely laid out. Yeah, more steps to go to more more areas. These are like the Speaking of which, I fancy it. No, I'm not kidding. So, was that to like keep an eye out when you're having a pee? You know, you can oh, just. I don't know. I don't know if these are done later. Yeah. After they built the fire and sits. These are not gun positions, aren't they? Yeah. Or maybe you could stand a bit further back and aim aim there. your pee stream out through the hole and yeah. get 500 points. Which is, I'm sure somebody's tried it. Somebody who's actually here stationed, I bet you they've tried to see if they could get their pee out through the hole. Yeah. It's just a man thing. If you're, if you're a woman watching, you wouldn't understand, but it's a man thing. Ooh, look at that. It's a bit of a drop down. Yeah, the second floor, so that would have been a wood floorboards. Can you imagine? Ripped out. Yeah, if you had a party in here, like there'd be a few fatalities with people on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> There's a place that um, falls in um, Cliff Fall. Oh, yeah. I think uh, someone fell down one of the things there like, after a drunken sort of party. Hurt themselves, yeah. There we go. Uh, hey. It's a very interesting graffiti in here from um, Borstal Boys. Borstal Boys. Yeah. The scum. Just like that movie scum. Movie scum. Like, um, 
Um, what is this? Young boys trapped in here, being bummed by bummed by teachers. It's all uh, dead, butterflies. dead um, butterflies or uh, moths. It might have been taken out by bats. Yeah, that's true. They they catch them in mid-flight, don't they? So yeah, wonder how many uh, poor lads have been raped by yeah. yeah by teachers or other students. Just like that movie, Scum, folks. Very scum. Very good film. That's yeah. how it would have been. Yeah. Racist um, officers and staff and all that. Yeah. Fireplace up there, lovely, isn't it? Yeah, on the second floor, look. This whole floor's come down. Yeah, they look like huge rooms as they are, but been half height before. Yeah. Amazing. What can happen to somewhere like this, a prison, you know? As the weather gets to it, and there's no heat anymore, and a few vandals. Just came over. In fireplaces. Again on there. Electrics hanging down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Up here, can't get up there now. Someone's pulled that down. But um, if you climb up there, this goes round. <laughs> and along a little tunnel that takes you what would have been the moat. But because oh. they filled all the moats in around that back, like I said. Yeah. Up that long ladder, somebody's tried to get up there. It's a window, isn't it? It's a window frame. Hmm. Yeah. It looks a bit awkward because that was flatter. And uh, so, so. Wait, let's have a look. If, uh... Well, I, I, I bring a portable ladder with me. I've got a telescopic ladder that you can just sling over your shoulder. Right. And go back to the car. Well, I deny. Have you grabbed that ladder? I have no, lo no longer got this ladder that I said I had. I've no longer got it. I think that was like. Put it on here, put it on, put it that edge on the edge of that. No, lip it down a bit, yeah, no, no. No, up, 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 back, that lip, down a bit. You get it on the, on the lip? I think I'll trust that. Well, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like that. Oh, right. I believe I can fly, come on, Ian. Do you want me to film you going? I believe, I, what do you, I thought you were going to go first, man. Uh, every night and day. <laughs> mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. I believe I can fly. Well, it looks not too bad. To be honest, if you if you want to hold on to the camera whilst I give it a go. You want to hold on to the camera? Yeah, I'll stop this one for a minute. And, uh, well, you don't want to see me like I'll splatted. Film you with this one. Splatted properly. Okay. Just be careful. Be careful, man. There's only one secret vault. There's only one secret vault. Oh, no, no, it's not going to happen. Don't give up so, so soon. Oh, Look, I'll put some weight on There's not much to hold at the top, either, you know, for like grabbing. You can grab the door, but.
You can. Be careful. Gone. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. You see all the landfill shits and stuff. They dump in the moat. All right. So that um, when you get to that door at the end, that would have gone out into the moat originally, right at the bottom of the moat. Right. Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. Who's coming up, Ben? What? No, it's alright. You ain't coming up? No, it's alright. Is that it? Oh. What, I came all the way up here for that? You're having a laugh, are eh? I thought there were like 70 virgins and stuff up here. It's just fucking, it just goes around the corner, it's like dead end. So. Put it back up. Uh, all right. Don't worry, about me. I'm sponsored by Oh Shite. Oh Shite, I'm falling. Oh shite. I thought that was another word for Oh Light. Yeah, Oh Shite. No, that's the company. So, what was up there, Matt? Jesus. Uh, it just goes round the corner, it's dead end. Chalk and arch. Chalk. Yep. It's got a brick, brick arch, so that arch would have been part of the boat. Brick one. Yep. But, you know, at least we've been up there now. Yeah, I, thought, I thought it was going to go somewhere. Nah. Is that all of it? Nah, it's half, pretty much. So we'll go through the pipe. If we can't go through the pipe, then we Le go and I'll use the key to get into the other bit. The pipe. But obviously, we want the entertainment folks. And, um, you want the entertainment? We'll get Matthew through the. Uh, you mean like death defying feats of like ladder balancing isn't enough for you guys? That ladder, so janky. Foot come off the top, it just drops. Yeah. So this would have been these, well, I didn't say to Dom what this was. You didn't. This was all but, accommodation, so this is in barrack rooms yeah. for the soldiers, so there would have been barrack, uh, bunk, well, not bunk beds, but beds. And you can see those, uh, those things sticking out of the wall up there. Yeah. You can see them better in the other place, but they're, they're equipment racks. You can uh, use it little spikes. Kit, kit racks, that's it. Like uh, spike, 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 so spike, spike. So those bits of spike units would have been the, um, the, uh, the shelves mm. above the bed. And you've got them here as well. You're not recording, by the way, on your 360 cam. No, no, no. Yeah. So here as well, so the bed would have been there. Oh, right, OK. Yeah. And as uh, for anybody who's not like been here before, Ian is sporting his merch called IKS Exploration T-shirt. Yeah. Jesus. So go get it. Go get it, in D folks. Yeah. We get to the pipe, and then we start this up. He keeps threatening to show me his pipe, but uh, it's going mental. I should be it's, so it's, lucky. It's a journey. Is it? It is a journey. Yeah, to get to the pipe as well. <laughs> it's like. Oh, hang on a minute. Is this is this the pipe? Yeah. Go this on. is the pipe. I pipe. I don't want to do it. Infinite what? I don't want to do it. What's that, folks? I don't want to do the pipe. I've seen the pipe, and I saw how much frustration it caused and stress it caused, and I thought, you know what? That was only number one fan tweeting about it. Bits, folks. Holy Jesus! Oh, he's back on that, backing up. All right, cheers, Paul. It's all right. There's nothing to... I... Oh, you can go on for... 
Oh. One sec. I feel like I'm. Uh, yeah, I know somebody. He went round the other side, and, and when they popped out the pipe, he was like, "Hiya!" And he was like, "How'd you get round there?" Wasn't it? He was like, "Nah." There's a funny part to that look, story. My arm is hurting. Right. True, I, I don't want to be crawling on this arm. Right. So that's my excuse. But seriously, crawls? Nah. Oh, damn, it was damn. Look. You, you are the professional, you've done it, right? The other side to that story, mm -hmm. the one with, where we went round, yep. with Fez and, um, uh, what's his name, Paul, yep. and all that. We come back round and there was a, a photographer in here with a woman nude, <laughs> and they were doing nude photography. Wow. <laughs> Didn't film that, though. <laughs> so, but dear, yeah, that dear. happened, folks. You've got to film stuff like that. No, I couldn't. That's the, that's the special Christmas showreel, that is. Uh, yeah. No part of them. I could look at the pipe. He's he's more into crawling around things than I am. Yeah, no, we're not going to go there. There's no point making the effort to go all the way to it. Right, so we go round and then go down through the top of the... When he said pipe, I was thinking, like, something that's about this high that we could probably just, like, get through on our hands and knees, you know, just like, you know, like that one in the zero bunker, but this thing is like a squeeze, it's squeeze got pipe. body out straight like that. Oh, no. No. It's been too much of a long line. It's, uh, yeah, I, it's, I'm a bit hot. And I saw your video and, and it just told me everything I wanted to know. It was like, I don't want to do that. And I, I didn't realise when he said... You're actually here. When he said the pipe, I'm like, yeah, pipe. The pi yeah, pipe. We're going to go and see a pipe. I didn't think it was the pipe. The crazy situation, the crazy thing is, though, you're actually here at the location where that pipe is, so... Right. Is it, is it um, what, underneath us then, or something? No, no, I mean... It's around the corner. You can see where the entrance is. I don't is. mind having a look where the entrance is, but... Uh, you say it's a bit of a mission to get to it? Well, I'll take it to this guy. Let's go and see the pipe. But, you know, I'm, I'm one of these people who wouldn't want to do... Uh, Caving, you know, that has squeezes and mud and and all that sort of. But I mean, you know, birthing experiences and ugh, claustrophobia. I'm surprised, you know, you didn't get a panic attack in that pipe. Yeah, I got, you know, two years ago, I got a panic attack. I think my body's just got used to it. I mean, that that to me would be somewhere where your brain is saying, "I shouldn't be doing this." Yeah. Just think about footage, you know, keep that Yeah. Well, if you want to take, if you want to take my camera through, you can go through. <laughs> you see how far on the ground we are now? Quite yeah. Far down, two flights down. Mm -hmm. And the entrance of the pipe. I'll tell you what would look good, Ian. Uh, seriously, right? I'll tell you what would look good. If you want to shuffle forward with this camera in your hand, right? right? And, and it's like shuffle with a torch and, and that camera going through, that would look epic because it'd be 360 madness in the pipe. Right, yeah, yeah 360 yeah, in the pipe. Yeah. yeah, we have to crawl through here. What, to get to, to, get to the, to the, the end? Yeah, it, it, this, is, this is big compared to what it gets like. This is this is like the, the best bit. What's up to you, Matt? Do you want to do it? I don't want to do it, no. I saw his video and I thought, no way I would enjoy this. It's quite a journey this. to get to the pipe from here. Yeah, yeah. we'll leave I would, then. I, I would love to see you do it. I would honestly, because you, you know you can do it, right? I would love to see you do it. I'd get a lot of bit enjoyment out of that. We'll crawl through there, then, and we'll go to it, and you watch me go through it. I don't even want to crawl through there, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you want me to go to the pipe, crawl through it on my own, not pretty much? We'll call the police if anything goes wrong. Yeah. If you want to pull that, that in, like, retract it a bit, you know, you can do that so it's not sort of bouncing around so much. Well, come but to the pipe with you by going in the pipe. Right. I but think from the other end it might be easier. This 360, if you've got enough light with you, you know, this 360 will be ideal because you'll get a view of that pipe you've never seen before and it won't be rocking around cam, like, uh, uh, uh. it'll be totally level and steady right. and whoever's coming with you on a VR journey will be able to look all around at just how tight that pipe is. Hmm. Yeah, I well, mean... We'll stop that for now, though, then yeah. maybe not. Yeah. You go to the other side and then it's easy to get to because this is quite cruel. The other side is pretty much getting in and then you, you want your... I was going to say, with that there, there's the look mm. like moon and walk to it. It's collapsing as well. I'm not, I'm not I, I know my limits, well. right? I know my limits and I wouldn't mind it so much if I didn't have this arm, which every time I'm tapping it is, is giving me excruciating pain. If I had some knee pads on and that, that, something... That's facing Graham's grovel, mate, right? Yeah. Have a look in there, man. Yeah, it's a load of deads. <laughs> oh. well, that's what it looks like. You've got to get over deads? Oh, yeah, my basically, God. Basically, you just fall over a pile of 
Get down from there. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's not considering how tight it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was going to follow him in there, but then when I seen them... I've got an idea. Let's just ask Ian to borrow his footage. Right. I'm stalling. I'm stalling, folks. For all the fans that want to see it. There we go. Look. Look how tight it is with Ian. And he's tiny. Look. Seriously. I can't look. Ian's tiny and he's struggling. If I fit in a few years ago, Fez, you should fit there. No. You'll be alright. Now, Ian's tiny and he's struggling. Yeah, but if you get pulled through, you're alright. You just need to, like, get your arms through first. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm going to do that. I might go back. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. we're going to move the last one. Yeah. Uh, it's just where it's collapsed. It just reminds me too much of box, and it's like, yeah, no, I'm not feeling that today. Because the other side's brick. And it's more secure. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've actually seen his video and how tight it gets, and and you know, I just I knew. I, I, I knew that I, I wouldn't enjoy right. it. It's just. Well, we'll go to the other side and then we'll see how we feel on that one because it's it's not crawling hands and knees that one really. You have to get on your bum to get into it, but once you're in. But don't you want? Do you want to um, crawl through here and we meet you on the other side, or we won't know where to go? You won't know where to go. No. I've got the. Key, uh, I've got the um, Access to the gate, so. Well, ah. let's go and do that. Yeah. Are you going to crawl back through it from that side to this side? Well, if we, if we go to the part, I'll crawl in and then crawl back. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. If I haven't got any bigger folks since. Uh... Mm. No, he's, he's fit for this. I mean, he's psychologically prepared for it. It's wet, so it's a bit loose. It's like voting, it's like not voting, um, bidding on eBay. They say you should decide what your limits are and stick to them. Yeah. And I know that that is like not my limits. That's way beyond my limits, so... Do you want to... Do you see the camera out there? I did, yeah. It's nice. Nice little drop. This is quite... Um... Yeah, it's a bit loose. Yeah. It's a bit loose. If you look at the, 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 the ceiling beneath this, it's vaulted like this. It's a boiler. Yeah. It's a boiler, I think, yeah. So that was possibly chucked down the stairs. <coughs> yeah. It's going to stay the stairs. Yeah. I've seen better days. But they're still a lot better than some of them. I do you feel like a uh, bar chocolate? Yeah. It's probably why they survived so long because they've got these end pieces to protect the stairs. Oh, yeah. I think it was December, would you? Okay, so... Right, we have to go back where we came, and then through the, through the fence, then we go to the other side of this, and then through the gate there. Okay. So let's go back. It seems like a bit of a walk for a pipe, though. No, oh. we've, got, we've got the other casemates to see, so we've got to go to that anyway. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's go and see what we've got to see. Yeah, I know that's, uh, some people would enjoy that, but, yeah. What thinks this way? Over there, right, okay. You've got your gun rooms, there's another one at the far end, but it's all the same.
I mean, like Sa Sally in the woods and stuff, there's a little squeeze in there, but it's not too bad. It's only just around the corner and stuff. But if it was like 50 feet, you know, 150 feet or, you know, 500 meters of crawl, and you, could, you could say, I'm not going to enjoy that. Uh, it's a backbreaker. <laughs> oh. Oops. Do that. This is 1890 on one of the cell blocks there. You see the big building? Yeah. It's a pyramid shape. Yeah. That's what they call Rye House. So that's a, it holds over 100 inmates. In these lot like, prison cells. Yeah. Right. And you've got the one furthest down on the right there. That's a big little brown, yellow bricks. Yeah. A sandwich. And the one just in the middle between the two, that's uh, Hastings. And there's another one just uh, behind the bank there in the front of the, the triangle building called Romney and there's one just to the left of that called Deal House which holds nearly 60 and the other ones hold about 52, 53 Right yeah. Mad We used to work up there folks, Jesus You, were, you weren't a screw were you? No I weren't a screw <laughs> Kitchen porter mm -hmm. Oh so you were like then because you gave the, gave the inmates something they liked, food Detainees Detainees yeah, the, uh, yeah, they immigration were immigration, thing. right. Yeah. So we went to prisoners. Because they weren't allowed to do the work. Um, apparently, but I lost my job because they started working in the kitchen. Because they started doing it? Yeah. And they got sent to grinding and all that, so I lost my job there. Whoa. Ow! Fucking things. Horrible. Thorns. My legs are getting it. Yeah, you got a nice easy one for us after this, have you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what I like to hear. Oh my yeah. going going to a pub and doing that interview with some yeah, cold yeah. cold drinks and then maybe get onto somewhere and it's a bit cooler this evening or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, what time are we heading back? I don't know. Well, what time do we want to head back? Seven will probably be good. A any time after that, yeah. When the traffic cut off yesterday and it started moving all right, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yesterday as well, being the end of the bank holiday. Jesus, my legs. Crash central yesterday, wasn't it? All good? Well, it's stinging and fucking the rest of it. I think I got. Oh, please don't be in my fucking toe. I'm some sort of thorn bumming around in my fucking boot now. Mm. Never good. Oh, oh, oh. This is just like shit. Fucking hell. Hell's fucking bells. Mm. Oh. Shit out of, yeah, you know, and I can't. I, I'm, I'm trying to justify it to myself, like, well, it don't hurt so much, does it really? But you know, well, sting for Dale too. Stings, it? and then put a bit of germline on it, but it's just, I don't know. We'll have a look at them in a minute. We'll do a leg inspection and see what we got going. Yeah, yeah, I've told you. Thorn in my boots. Hang on. Right, camera off. Yeah, oh. So, yeah, um, as I ended up with a thorn in my boot, so uh, 
you know, which you're bound to get from going through all those thorns. We've got everything up here. We've got thorns, I've seen thorns, thistles, gorse, um, nettles, uh, just bloody, you know, weeds, every, it's, it's just a whole, every type of things. And there was some sort of, some sort of thorn bush I've never seen. And I, I grabbed it to push out the way and it just went straight through this. It was, you couldn't even grab it. It was just like, ooh, ah, ooh. And it was just bit me. And it's like my legs, Ah, oh, This is days old crap, yeah, you know, it's like, uh, it's just. This is, uh, welcome to Kent. Yeah, it's like, you know, I got. He's got Kent as yeah. well now. This one's pretty good. Look, I got gash, scratch, scratch, scratch. It's not too bad, but you know, let's have a look on this side then. Oh, this is what we, this is what we go through. Ugh. And I could wear, I could wear, you know, proper trousers, but it's so hot. Yeah. It's just infeasi infeasibly hot. Costumes. Yeah, it's infeasibly hot. I mean, what would be good is uh, something you could just sort of like pull up when you're going through bushes, you know, pull them up and just tack, like, tack on one, two, three, like, buttons or something, do, 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 do. And then you could just go clip, 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 pull them off, put them in your backpack. That'd be good. Somebody makes something like that, but, you know, not, you have to zip on or something, because zips always mess up. Button poppers, like, you know, just three, two or three button poppers so you can get your legs protected, go through the bushes, just chuck them in your backpack. Far too much to remember to take with you, though, isn't it? It's like this be the last thing you remember. <laughs> oh dear. Summer sun, you know, it's a time for me. It's just hay fever and snotty noses. That's the summer for me. Sweating me balls off. Sweaty slap head. And, uh, stinky armpits and all the rest that is the summer get down to the beach or something it's not quite nice I'll get to a river jump in with a dog it's pretty good but go down tunnels go down caves that's pretty good when you come out you just feel like oh, I just really wish I could stay in there now because it's cool like air conditioning underground but you come out it's like oh no it's so hot yeah Anyway, enough moaning. This way now. Oh, we're going to go up there. Is it all nettles and shit and bollocks? Same shit, yeah. One of the IKS Exploration Trail. It's not too bad, is it? It's not too bad. It's got trousers on. Nettle, nettles, thorns, 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 nettles, 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 thorns. Oh, we can't go up there. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I'm really glad about that, folks. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> that, that, that security guard is the only security guard I've seen ages. I'm really glad to see because he just said, you can't go up there, just fuck off. And I just, oh yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> We've been relieved. I will give you a link so you can have a look at the other end on Ian's video. He's been professionally produced. Trust me, it's brilliant. That's the thing I'm going to do this so much. No, no, there's no way. Yeah. Jesus fuck. And the best part about it is you don't have to go there, which includes me, because I don't have to go there either now. <laughs> Damn, that's good though. No, it's good. You you doing the good work, mate. You should keep this up and I reckon you should go down all these holes and drains and everything that's like crawl space. I reckon you should do it. It's a deal. It's a deal, man. Steel, you do it, yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah, and yeah. get it on your channel. I'll should... I'll drive down and fly fly above it with a drone, right? And then I'll just like refer to your footage. I'll go somewhere under this ground in Dover. Yeah. A man has been crawling through a pipe. Click here to see what, what went on. The bloke said um sort of, something J something company. Right. So is that the new company that bought the site then, do you reckon? Probably, isn't it? 
But they don't, I thought he said M O D, didn't he? Did he say M O D? No, he said something, something, something O J. Own it or something like that. All right. To look into that. Yeah, but I see, you know, he just said, like, what are you doing? No, you can't be in here. I said, you know, that's fine. That's all you need, isn't it? Yeah. You don't need all the drama and, like, you know, dogs and, we've called the police. You've been burgling. You know, just like, so you can't be here. Sorry. All right, mate, thanks. Is there anywhere we can go? Well, you go around the back, but, you know, can't be in this bit, though. You know, whatever. Good. Hey, you seem chilled out. Yeah. It's funny you knew we were there, though. Just seen us walk past the camera a couple of times, it's back. It's lucky he's bloody looking at the camera. Last time I was near that section, uh, someone turned up. Right. So, anyway, thank you for watching and uh, lick, lick my subscribe button. Yeah. And, uh, and after you lick it, push it. So, lick it, yes, licky, lick, licky me subscribe button. Sacre bleu. Secret vault in the motherfucking house. Secret vault accessing land in Kent with IKS. And you notice, he's just on the side, but this one owns the land. And dominates the board. <laughs> dominates it, yeah, it's totally like. <laughs> No more space for any information. <laughs> so, hello Ian. Hello. We are here in a... We're trying out no steady cams because we think it might be the future. I so it's so, like, yeah. yeah. It's with Josh and we'll use it, don't they? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm just like thinking, let's, let's see how this works out. If I don't use a steady cam, then, and I use the steady functions on my camera instead. I mean, I could probably run around quicker and get away from people and do all sorts of amazing things that I can't do right now. Muscles in your arms won't be as big though. Yeah, that's Probably true. Take off. But uh, it wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that my steady cam has just decided to go wobble, 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 which may be something to do with uh, what happened to it the other, <laughs> the other day in Plymouth is now starting to show signs of <laughs> freaking intense, out it's been, it's been uh, working hard though isn't it the locations you've been to it has yeah, yeah it's, uh... but I will have to just strip it down it's going to be an obvious something whoops yeah it's going to be an obvious something that's causing it so yeah Mary Poppins yeah so, you know, I mean it's, it's worked well today yeah but our luck's just run out because uh, it's lucky it's the end of the day though Pretty yeah cool. luck's run out rain's in steady cam died Somebody lost the steady cam. Oh, bless uh, bloody nightmare. That could be anywhere though. That yeah, could it's. Uh, that might have stayed on there. We could have gone like, to the castle, it still could have been on there. Yeah, somebody sort of put their steady cam down on the roof of the car and forgot about it. And then he won't there later on, so. Right. So if we'll, anyone finds it, yeah. Snow. Anybody in Dover picks up a steady cam, DJI Osmo thingy. Yes. Mobile one. Yep. Oh yeah, that's a bummer. It is. It's not nice. Horrible feeling though. Yeah. But yes, where are we going now? We are going to yeah. uh, World War Two Underground Dressing Station. Dressing Station being like a field. Hospital, you know, like um, where they could uh, dress their wounds, yeah, basic injuries. You know, yeah, if anything ser more serious, they could be transfer transported to the uh, transferred, yeah, to the uh, local hospital or tel transported as in like teleported. Yeah, that's, what I, yeah. that's what it sounds like, yes, it's Star Trek. But in this, you know, it's interesting because uh, this one was only Sorry. opened up in 2000. And 15, I think. Someone opened it up. Oh, uh, I just realised I could be well out of focus. Oh, was it? Maybe. Because I focused it for me earlier on, but let's just assume it was alright. So, start from the dressing thing then. Yeah, where are we? Sort of, you know, we're, well, yeah, just in case. So, we are on the way to an underground dressing station built in 1941. 
So a dressing station would be in a, a field hospital. So this was for a gun battery. It had three guns to it. Uh, I forget the size of the guns. They were big guns, naval guns. But uh, yeah, this underground dressing station, I don't know whether it was fully fitted out because there is signs of lights that says, you know, oh. um, it wasn't fully completed because there's like, no paint down there and uh, no cables, no uh, air conditioning, not air conditioning, air ventilation, ducts, and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, there's also an interesting fact about it, which I'll tell you later. Yeah, we're just sort of hiding from the rain now. Because we're, I was saying we had a, we had a few bits of bad luck. The rain came in, and uh, then my steady cam stopped working. I reckon I'll fix it. Somebody lost their steady cam. We yeah. won't we won't say too much about it, but it's a bit sad that they lost the steady cam. Uh, but we're we're going up here now, and uh, yeah, we're still in 3D. So check out his 3D, the secret vault 3D. Yes. But not 3D, uh, 360. 360. 360, folks. Yeah, but you can see Ian in 3D <laughs> really close up. Oh, no. Literally, like, his, his uh, nose and, and beard will be popping out your screen. <laughs> It'll be, like, proper. Yeah. Oh, no. So, what yeah, what's this here? Nicole Roman MB. I don't love you because I need you. I need you because I love you. See you around. Well, that's really clever, isn't it? Interesting. Goodness. False, false. Yeah. Wow. This is no road, but the bloody thing's been closed. I mean, it's a good road. It's got two lanes. And you know, this this channel tunnel people when they're constructing the channel tunnel, this was used for that. Oh right. So there's loads of uh, sort of uh, prefab style buildings like mm -hmm. sheds, mm -hmm. I believe, over there. Yeah. Um, that were used by the, the workers. To right. Sort of stay in. And this was used, this was all put in for the channel tunnel. Theme. Right, okay. Yeah, and it's got, it's got the, uh, lines in the centre there. Yeah, it looks good quality, you know. It's, it's amazing that, uh, you know, they don't use it in some way now, but obviously they've closed it off probably because they don't want people dumping cars up here, but, no. I mean... Also, a ghost story, folks, apparently. I believe it's over that side. What do you think? It might be down there, I'm not sure. Right. But there's uh, meant to be uh, towels of a grey lady. Wow. You're supposed to haunt the hills, sort of stuff. Yep. I read that somewhere before. Didn't really go too much into it, because I'm, I'm open-minded and I'm not really that uh, interested in uh, ghosts. Yeah. 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 Leave well, that to the ghost hunters, folks. Yes. Ah, well, it's a nice, uh, nice enough road. Bit windy. It's taking our taking our umbrellas away from us a bit, but uh, yeah, we just don't want to get any wet on the camera. So, so where have we been this? Uh, I keep saying this weekend. It's um, it feels like a weekend, but it's actually week time. It is, yeah. And uh, where have we been? Z Rocket, South Holland, Langdon Hole, St Margaret's Bay. Yeah, we're down there. Yep, yeah. and. Uh, Detached Bastion, North Centre Bastion, South Casemates. Yeah. North Casemates got told off by a bloke. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, I flew up my drone over that area earlier on, so might have some footage. I'm just hoping I might be able to get a bit more drone footage if it stops raining. It might be right time to get back. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, we're uh, at the top of this road, or? Yeah, top, and then it's slightly go down a bit. And then, uh, yeah, it's not too far. It's not too far. Right. Kind of looks like a bunker ish type entrance. It's starting to pee down. Yeah. Here with Ian at a non disclosed location, but uh, you know, those that will know may know. And uh, apparently, out that way, which is towards the sea, somewhere near A Road. <laughs> We're not going to say where. Yes, over there, um, gun, uh, observation posts overlooking the cliff uh, and um, over there as well as a plotter room uh, accessed by a, a shaft emergency exit that goes down about 30 feet proper deep one probably the deepest one I've ever been down all the fall down there the original entrance to that plotter room was buried when they done that a road uh, and yeah gun positions over there 
one of the positions you can see part of the top of it the other positions were buried with the spoil from the a road we could probably see the top of the position yeah a o a okay okay a. yeah oh yeah but, uh, has it actually stopped raining oh maybe I think we might be okay for a minute, yeah. Military road. Yeah, battery, battery. Yeah, concrete. And that's uh, gun position. Of sorts. The two other ones are just straight over pretty much, but they're buried under that mound. Right. Perfect, especially with this. So yet again, we're going to go to an amazing position that uh, you would have to know where to go and expert local knowledge means everything. Yeah, there's two things. That looks like it, you can see the side entrance to it. You know, so you can see it's underground. That one there actually would have had an antenna on top of it, I believe. Yeah. Because it's got like four um, legs either side of the platform. On, not the top one, but the one down from it. Yep. It looks like it would have had some sort of antenna on it. Pointing stick. Yeah. So that's the top of the gun position. The gun position would have been like here, massive circular bit. Yep. And that was the back of it, and this was the shell hoist for the magazine below it. So if you go down into that, you can look up, you can see the big the hoist thing, but it's too muddy, it's wet. Right. You can see down. Oh, there's a little hole in it. Yeah. Whoa. Yep. It's quite deep down, and that's where someone was trying to dig the magazine out. Right. But they didn't get very far. Um, just kept going down and down, and you know, it's only so far you can go before it's like getting dangerous. Yeah, I think we're getting some more rain just for the start. I've got a funny feeling. I got a feeling the sun's coming out, but we're gonna get peed in. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's, that's one right. gun position here. Yeah, yeah, two under that mound over there. Right, okay. So it's crazy the amount of soil that's on top of it. Crazy. And the magazine's behind it, big square, star magazine. And this looks like tar or something that's been on the on the top, but it's all chipped away or something. Chris says like bitumen. Bitumen, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's just to sort of seal seal it off a bit so it doesn't penetrate the concrete. Mad. Mm. So that's that. So let's go to the um, the dressing station, folks. So we're going to do our best not to re reveal the location because you know the reasons why. Do your research, folks. Yeah, if you can do your research, you can find it. But, you know, just making it really easy for everyone and his brother to kind of just rock up and uh, dismantle, destroy, etc., etc. Not good. So we're in some little location which that looks a bit strange that tree it's almost like as if it's a doorway there's a tree that's kind of like a doorway it's like welcome oh, yeah, folks. look at this doorway into bunker land yeah the entrance is right there wow entrance to the underworld this is what uh, Clive Barker was writing about in Nightbreed. This is where it all... This is where... No, it's nothing to do with it, actually. No, just made that up. So, yeah, it's crazy, folks. Um, when you go into a place like this, you see loads of cobwebs in the entrance, over the entrance. You know there's nobody inside. So that's a, a golden gem in it, really. So. Right. It's a nettle fest. It is. It's fine, though. Nettles. Let's get in there, folks. Unless you've got shorts on. Yeah. Yeah. Right, what are we taking first? Take that. Thanks. Oh, right. Are you up? Do you want me to set the camera? Yeah, if you want to grab it by the handle. The secret vault. Here it comes. Right. We, we operate in the rain. And the snow, the secret vault. It's 
spider protect prevention mechanism on my head. Let's get it going. Right. Spider. Yeah, you're in pretty much. Yeah. Thank you. 14% battery. Oh, we've got loads on other batteries, yeah, that's cool. 17 minutes of time though. That's better right. get it on, better get it on. Alright, so, let's think, head down. I think you're recording, are you flashing? Yeah, yeah, this is flashing, yeah. Good stuff. Look at the angle of that. That's a strange one, isn't it? It just keeps going at a very shallow angle. It's not very deep, it's not a, a sheer angle, is it? It's a drawn yeah. out one. Yeah, it's nice though. Oh, all right. You're right. What happened? Just butted the just my skin matter is on there now. I was trying to turn my torch off, but I was forgetting to uh, duck down. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all right. But I just went. You were talking about hard hats earlier. I was like saying they're not worth it, but <laughs> I'm usually my steady cam handles everything, so I don't worry about wobble cam. Right. But now I'm worrying about cam. And I'm like worrying about my torch being on, so you'll see the shadow of the camera. And I've got the light on the top, so I, I just stop ducking down. You'll notice as well that Ian doesn't have this problem, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Watch out, it's slippery. But you know, like Ian, Ian's been all right in some of these places. I've had to bend right down a bit, you know. I'll bang my head. I'll bang my head. He's banging his head. Yeah. But I think you know these tunnels were made for. Times when people weren't as tall. No, I thought that. Home. Yeah, I thought Hang that. You know, it's like people weren't as tall. Well, back we... there, I think it's a lot of backfill. Yeah. That's been dumped into it. And you can see all the way up to the entrance there. I, I mean, we're getting a nice sharp because we're getting loads of green, which means that, you know we're not getting any moisture and not any humidity. Look it's good. Like this, if you look on the floor. Mm -hmm. You can see the way the construction, the braces that go across the floor as well. Yeah. You don't really see that in other shelters because it's all concreted. Yeah. So it's like these are put in as well as ones across the floor, so it's fully... Yeah. Because, you know, you would believe that it's just into the concrete. Yeah. It's put in, but it's not. It goes across with, with mm. bars across the bottom as well. Well, if, if we um, keep our torches forward of the 360 camera, then it won't be blinded, so that'd be nice. Yeah. That'd be good. So yeah, underground dressing station. It's a weird construction, it's not like the other ones we've been in. It's um it's a different layout. Mm. Oh. I'm not taking I wasn't taking enough notice of how the, the, what the head height was like then. Uh -huh. I'm just like concentrating on camera work again. Oh here we go. Big motor stator. Yeah, I said I have a big motor. It's a beastie motor. Fan there as well. Yeah, that could be part of it. Motor windings and drivings. Proper heavy though. Yeah, yeah. Yes. They have to be because they carry you know, all the magnetic fields through the iron or the copper. Yeah. Hmm. And that's a fan, as I said. Am I on full brightness? Yeah, I am. It's okay. I mean, you know, it's. If we keep level with each other, we won't blind, blind our camera, oh. But, but I think uh, a little thin than that. It doesn't look like any like light, light, um, lighting, ventilation. Mm. It's not even painted. It's not, it's not, not even finished. Mm. Wow. That's Your torch is, is just amazing for getting all the way down to the end. Oh light, folks. Oh light, lights, yeah. Let's give them a plug. They are good. I don't They're think I've plugged them enough. I think that's why they were angry with me. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to address that this weekend. It's just like, make sure I refer to the O-Light. Now, let's, 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 let's just have a go then, right? Okay, you turn yours off and I'll turn my O-Light on. This is like mine. Full, full brightness, ready? Bing, bing. Ah, see, that's 1500 lumens. Full chat versus focused for distance that's what that's what that is as well it's focused more in yeah so it's for distance that's 5500 lumens and that's 5500 
for distance. Yeah. Mine is wide, so mine is sort of like it's designed to be wide. Yours has got a nice colour to it though, isn't it? It's got more of a... It's got a warm yeah. tone. Yeah, this is more white. Yeah, and the thing with that is you have to do different colour balancing. It can work out okay, but on people's skin and faces, the blues tend to make people look a little bit sort of, you know, like their, their skin is a bit funny, yeah. but the warmer tones tend to sort of complement, they're golden, so it makes your skin look a bit more golden and rather than a, a bit blotchy, you know. Right. So, yeah, it just depends what you want to do. I mean, just look at what the broadcasters do, broadcast cameras, they have those lights on there, um, and then they flip a gold filter in there when they're doing uh, interviews with a, you know, presenter. So, you know, gold is the colour you need for nice skin. So here's a... Anyway, yeah, and that's why Olight offer you all the ranges of colours you want. That's it. Yeah. I'll say something about the shelter. Um, the, uh, in the 1980s, late 80s, I believe, was it? Something like that? Mm -hmm. uh, this shelter was used, you know, it possibly stripped out, that's why there's nothing down there. Mm -hmm. And um, it was used for fire training for the Channel Tunnel stuff. Yeah. And that's why we've got fire extinguishers and stuff down there. And, and a new fuse box that we went past. Yeah. Down there. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that was used for that. I forget what, early 90s, late 80s, wasn't it, the channel time? Yeah, so it turns sensitively up on my camera. I can see to the end, but on the camera. But in person, I'm see. I tell you, in person, I'm seeing to about here. I can't see past about that, you know. But my camera can see whoop, all the way to the end. But with Ian's thing, then my eyes can see to the end. <laughs> you know, that's the difference. So it's pretty weird. Put one a bit medium there if you want. Yeah. So it's nice uh, nice size. You know it's a, it's a good sort of size cavern like you have with the others. Proper deep. Yeah. What's that? It's a rusted out um, drum. No no I mean the fire extinguisher. I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Keep them dry. That? Like a voice or something. It sounds like rumbling, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. Is it is it possibly the road nearby? Possibly, yeah. Mm. We are quite far underground now. It must be about. We must be because we're under that mound. It must be about hundred feet down. It must be. Mm. Yeah, because we come down an incline, didn't we? And we went into the bank. Yes. Because it went up, didn't it? So. It's deceptive because it's a slow. Uh, gradual descent, but a very long one. You don't realise you have actually made it down quite deep. Yeah. Whereas when you see steps, you go, I oh, know this is deep, this is deep. But a gradual incline is false sense of security, you know? Because yeah. you're going down like that, and the banks above you are going up. Mm. In their parts. Yeah. So. It's part of that uh, rotted out drum there. On the other side. Another one of the ventilation or cable, possibly cable pipes. Yeah. That goes to the surface. I'll just put my light in there, maybe. Mm-hmm. I can't see the surface, but yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see the top. All oh, right. Yeah. Ah, but it's capped, yeah. It's capped, yeah. Again, yeah. Mm, okay. Hmm. Mm. And then we have this. So moving into the next area. It's a bit muddy. This one. A bit muddy in here. Old bike rusted up, some tires, That'd and a bit of a cool right. bit of a drop. Yeah, it's like I'll we'll show you something in a minute. This might sort of answer a question. I'm not sure. They got fuse boxes there. Mm -hmm. The cable runs and things like that under under the surface, and sometimes even air. You know, like channel air. I think um, it's got right in it. Look, light, light in main. Yes, AUX. lighting main, auxiliary. Yeah. So they can switch it from the mains to the auxiliary supply. But you wouldn't want to have um, you wouldn't want to have both on at the same time because it would blow the track the, your your auxiliary supply with mains to it. Right. You usually have to just make a clean break, you know, switch switch onto the. What do you reckon on this thing? We're mm. talking about asbestos when we land and hold. Yeah. Uh, this stuff. No, you know what these are, don't you? They look like the concrete blocks that we saw that they were putting on the ceiling to Artex with. They look mm. like they look like they were sort of possibly 
in the arches and they've just come down, so they might have been on the wall. Yeah. I don't think... It's like plasterboard. It's plaster, yeah. I mean, if it is asbestos, I would be surprised, but, yeah, it looks like plasterboard. So I like to... Every person I take down here, really, I like to, you know, bring this up, mm. especially with Langdon Hole as well, because so many people said... These, even National Trust put signs out saying asbestos. Well, I don't know what asbestos looks like. I've never had it shown to me, but that looks more like concrete but or plasterboard, mm. but maybe asbestos used to look like plasterboard. Mm. I don't know. Ooh, what happened then? Battery's gone, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it has actually. It didn't give any signs of being low, but yeah, oh well. You got another no, battery? Mm, not with me, no. Oh no! Not for the torch, because it just goes forever, but we've been filming forever this weekend. Um, not for the, the well, one on the top. Right one, well, yeah, you're, you're now the um, torch master. Right. Oh, yeah, folks. Hmm, what's happened to this one now? Everything's going, uh, seriously, everything's it's going wrong, folks. Hopefully this one don't go down. Oh, I know what's happened to that. Hold it in, I think. Yeah, you have to hold it for like five seconds or something, and then... Then it goes out, yeah. And then yeah, and then now you can go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Right, well, I better not keep it on full because it'll kill the battery. But <laughs> we was never seen again. Yeah, <laughs> but... Yeah. Have you only got one light? Yeah, just this one here. I yeah. didn't bring my bag, which you've got spare video light batteries in it. Mm. <laughs> that I bought for you to use. Uh, oh, I've got, oh, I've got the, the, I've got the phone. You know, so maybe we, we could use the light on the phone to kind of get... Whoa, that? that's, that's saying it's dying. Phone's dying, so... Yeah, better be careful. Paranormal activity, folks. Yeah, um, that's... Uh, Whoa, a bit wet. A bit sloopy. Ah. Proper damp, isn't it? Yeah. You see the tin in the corner is really sort of corroded. Yeah. Up there. Mm. You see the clay mud. Yeah. It's very clay around here, it's not very it's not very much chalk. Is that telling me something? It's like I think that's battery starts coming, isn't it? I think. It turns it down to the next level down. I'm going to go to that level, I think, yeah. Just to, just to give it a chance, because, uh, yeah, when mine goes, we'll be on his, so I don't want to take, I don't want to take the mickey, you know? No, that's all right, use it. That's all cool. Yeah, I can see fine now. With this camera, it's not a problem. But I don't want to, you know, lose my ability to see altogether. So was that some sort of stone mm -hmm. for this, to be an exhaust for the smoke, or was this cables? And this was some sort of... I don't know. A yeah. Platform, is it? Well, had it been completed, I'm sure there would have been all sorts of platforms and things, you know, to stick things on. I mean, this is just a one-on-one -on -one off, isn't it? I can't... It's quite interesting to see this. Mm. Possibly when they were um, burying the tunnels mm -hmm. after the war. This was bashed through. Yeah. From the surface, because it stuck out a bit, and you can see where they bashed it all the tin stone coming in. Yeah. So rather than cut, cut it off, rather than cut it off, they just smacked it in. Mm, that's the cutout for the possibility. Yeah. But bored, uh, uh, shaft was bored down through the, and they knew exactly where the centre was. That's crazy, isn't it? Mm. It really is crazy. How they, um, it was pretty much, pretty much centred, isn't it? Yeah, I think they before GPS they used to use. Um, copper rods, it was called dowsing. It was very accurate apparently. Right. So it was probably just doused that and then they knew exactly where to go. It's, yeah, it's guaranteed. Yeah. No, it's just joking. Um, do you want me to, I, I've not seen this in your video, do you want me to film you? You can do if you want. For a bit while you walk around. I'll take this one. Yeah, okay. Right. Sorry. Right. So you see my this you can actually now see my natural walk. <laughs> There's the yes. Come on. Ne nearly slipped then. Yeah. Come on, ghosts. <laughs> I could walk over here, yeah, but then he watched the hole. Yeah. But that's how I that's how I really rock up. To the secret places. vault. Yeah. <laughs> the secret vault. 
Right, from, so from Deutschland. This is the probably the original entrance the main entrance down. Right. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's, a, that's a stretcher. It's a steep boy. Stretcher. Stretchers, right? yeah. So they can slow people down or pull them up. Yeah, I wonder if the stretchers were the people were on that angle, kind of like sagging down. Yeah. Feet first, you know, or whether the stretchers came down like on a, an angle, so it was they were flat when they came down. Yeah, that would be nicer, wouldn't it? So maybe that thing we saw was something to do with a winch system, maybe. But it did look a fan, didn't it? With a, a fan sort of style on it, I don't know. Hmm. And, and there's your know, stretchers, and then the rope breaks, and then <laughs> way. We got. They got a need, few more problems to fix yeah, when they get to the bottom. Legs be now first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like, we'll keep this one for a while. But yeah, Huff, uh, Huff and Deep Shelter, folks. The, uh, mm. Yeah, dressing station. God yeah. alive. All underground, amazing. We finally did it. Yeah, so, Up thank you very much, Ian. Yes, no problem, yeah. And if we can get out before the batteries die and the movie cameras die and everything, oh. it'll be a miracle. And I'll go, whoops, I'll go home now and I'll drive very carefully. Right. And then hopefully we'll have some footage to take home. So, yeah. Thanks very much for. Oh, show, oh sorry. Yeah. Oh. Where are you? Oh. There he is. Oh. <laughs> sorry, Ian. What's happening? Oh. There we are. So thanks very much for watching. Yes, thank you. Amazing. This guy has been an absolute star. He's taken us around the last couple of days and we've just gone bang, 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 bang in all these places. And amazing. You yeah, know. wish we could show you more, really. We haven't run out of time. It's two days we've done. You know, and uh, you can only do so much in the day, can't you? So. Yeah. But I'm, I'm amazed, you know, what's down here and how easy it is to access as well. I mean, okay, some of it's keyed, but yeah. I mean, a lot of it isn't. If you know where it is, if you can find out, if you do some research, a lot of this stuff is just like walk straight in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's a, a very good thing to have. So anyway, thanks for watching. IKS Exploration. Check out Instagram, Facebook and all that jazz. <laughs> Subscribe to this guy. Yeah. Consider subscribing to this guy. Yeah. And uh, right. yeah. You know, it's been it's been a nice one. Thanks, Ian. And we'll hopefully catch you much. soon. We will. We're going to do some crazy stuff. Take it easy. We're going out now. Oh. How much film you got left? Uh, zero minutes. Oh. Any time. Any time soon. It's going to kill it. It's going to kill it. Is there? Oh, right. Quick, 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 quick. quick, quick. folks what the hell well, would you believe that video took 10 hours to edit it's one hour 42 long and I actually did a video live on uh, YouTube where I actually said to people right watch what I'm doing I'll show you how long it takes and they sat there and literally live watch me edit half that video until I couldn't take any more I had to go to sleep so we were there from I don't know it must have been about 11, 10, 11 o'clock or something like that and by about 4 in the morning I don't know, it was, I forget now uh, so I finished it off today and then I had to watch it all again which takes another hour and 42 minutes with corrections, little corrections here and there and then it goes out so, you know, 1 hour, 1 hour 42 is, takes about maybe 10, 12 hours to edit so if you want to watch the video, it's very long, it's very boring, but you might pick up some tips about how to edit stuff in Premiere, then uh, go to somewhere below. Anyway, thanks for watching.